Hey guys, welcome back to Sherry's Nail Corner. Today's video is going to be a little nail corner station tour. I got a little bit of inspo from Kit Kwong on her YouTube channel Made by Kit. She recently revamped her whole office area and made herself a little nail station and that was really cute. We've all been waiting for that and I just wanted to show you guys what my little spot looked like too. Make sure you tune in to the end of my video also. I've got the giveaway instructions so you can be entered to win some of my favorite inexpensive nail goodies that I found at a local store we have here in Dallas-Fort Worth called Daiso. It's like a Dollar Tree basically of really fun stuff and they've usually got some really cool nail things um, and some other not so nail things but I found a way to make it work for my station so I hope you guys will Enter my giveaway, like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. And I can't wait to do more nail fun things with you. All right, so this is what my nail station usually looks like when it's clean. Um, I've got some decorations up here on the wall from some concerts that I've been to. That's one of my favorite things. And then we'll just give a little overview of everything. And then I'll get into specifics and show you guys how I've got everything organized. I've got some really cool things over here. Um, my little white shelf over here to the left of the screen that I've got all my little dips on. That was actually a Facebook market find. I don't believe it's sold anymore. A lot of people ask me and I wish everybody could have one, but maybe you can find something similar on your local resale pages. It's one of my favorite finds. I think I paid the lady like $30 for that and it houses all of my dip powder jars. And then the little white one that I've got over here to this spot, um, that's actually a little bathroom cabinet that hangs usually upside down on the wall. When I got it, I thought it was way bigger than it actually turned out to be. So uh, it ended up working though perfectly for this. I just flipped it upside down, took out the cubbies, the drawers rather, and I used those little areas as cubbies. All of those goodies right here in the middle is what's going to be in my giveaway. Alright, so I'm going to get started with showing you guys everything that I've got set up over here. This is my little bathroom cabinet that I flipped upside down and I use it as just a little cubby holder. Um, I've got this. Here's my little nail wraps whenever I do builder gel nails. And then I've got this really cool little kind of, it's from a pantry thing and it's meant to hold like the little packets of uh, seasoning sauces and stuff that you use but I've got this little container with my little bits in there and then I've got the buffing blocks that I'm currently using the ones um, that aren't like super rough for your nails or whatever I've got my nail drill slid back into here and I'm gonna link all of this stuff from my Amazon page um, onto this and it's just um, a linking website basically it's not an affiliate or anything um, this little spinny office desk organizer I found at Home Goods, and I love it because it's so cute with polka dots and it's kind of like a Lazy Susan thing. So I've got my files in here, um, anything I need for cuticles, so little dotting brushes that sometimes I'll go around my dip with. I've got all of my delicious cuticle candy pens, um, cuticle pushers in, in here, this little pumice cuticle thing I got at Sally's. And then in this other spot, I've got all of my little nail art brushes, um, my favorite Dollar Tree Ombre Wet n Wild brush for doing glitter and ombre looks. And then I've got all of my dusting brushes, my little nail brushing, my dense nail dusting brush. There we go. Say that five times fast. And then I've got another little office organizer in here, nail clippers, all of the little spoons that I use. Um, whenever I'm sampling out powders or if it's one I just have a little smaller amount of for glitter, I'll just spoon it on with my little favorite mermaid spoon. She's so cute. Um, I've got a few more brushes, some scissors, markers, odds and ends on there. Um, I've got this cool little thing from Daiso to hold my swatch rings up. And this one is pretty neat because you can just flip up what you're using at the time. And right now I've got my stamping polishes swatched on these two hanging ones. So that was pretty fun to do. Um, I've got this little Dollar Tree photo album book and I use this to put all of my nail stickers in. I saw this idea on another girl's YouTube and I'll try to link hers below, but I thought this was pretty clever. Um, so that way you can see what you're working with. I put little index cards behind this. But I've got some stickers that I got from my Maniology Ambassador first packet. That was so fun. 
um, some foils, some other little stickers that came in that maniology pack, some other nail foils that you can stick on with like foil gel. And I wasn't able to see those, so I thought this was a great idea just to put those all in here. Came with a ton. Um, and then I've got all of my little nail stickers back here also. So I really love that idea. It's pretty genius. So this is just a little photo album from Dollar Tree. And on the bottom parts of this cabinet, I've got these stacking little plastic containers. Also from Daiso. This one's got all of my stamping cubes in there, my stamping supplies. This one's kind of weird odds and ends. Nail things on here. This one's got all of my liquids in there. These have my samples and these two also can stack on each other. Um, like how you can see these ones are. And I use the bigger sample jars for more than one teaspoon of powder. And then I use the smaller sample jars for just my little one teaspoon samples of color. So I basically have a lot of sample colors too, but that's really fun to trade with people. Um, the next thing I've got over here, I found this at Five Below and it's just one of those little silicone kind of organizers and they're really cool because you can prop your stuff up into it. So if I'm doing something that I'll need a few tools for, I'll usually grab them out so I don't have to worry about messing up my nails and set those all aside in here just to grab pretty quickly. So you can use that, it's a lot of fun. And I've got this Lotus Mini Mat um, from Bundle Monster Company, now it's called Maniology, so I'm pretty sure they still sell something that's really similar to that. So that's that setup with all the things I've gotten here. Throw that back in there and then this whole desk that I've got used to be like a corner shelf unit um, and this part was black too but you can kind of see the seam right here I covered it with this really really pretty like marble contact paper so that changed the whole look of it but this little middle section is <laughs> kind of left over from that little desk so let me show you I've just got some decorations up there there's my little man um, Hello Kitty. This is from Japan. My boyfriend actually went there and got that for me, so it's one of my favorite things. I've got swatch sticks down down the side with these little clip things that just kind of hook on there. And then I've got my stamping books. So this is a clear jelly stamper holographic little binder. And I've got the little cards. And I actually laminated it with these little things that I found at Dollar Tree, so that was pretty cool. They're just like self-laminating sheets. Then I've got my larger stamping layering plates. Sorry, my dog is going nuts right now. I don't even know what her problem is. So I have those in there. And then I've got this Maniology one that holds a lot more plates. And it's just this like crocodile, I guess, design. And so this one holds it um, three in a sheet and they can go back to back. So there's how that one works, and this one's pretty full, so I've collected a lot of plates. I really love nail stamping art. It's probably one of my favorite things to do on a manicure. That one I haven't cleaned yet. So there's that. The only thing I don't super love about this is that it's actually cardboard underneath in here, so I don't snap it just because I'm afraid that eventually it'll bend and break off, so. I'm just really careful with that. So I'll slide these back up here. Show you what's over here. This little thing is just like a letter organizer and I found it at Goodwill, but it's really cool just to keep a few things in. So I've got these other plates. Um, these ones are Moyu London ones and I wanted to save them in these little sleeves. So I've put those in there and these are some of my like swatch paper towels I guess and I reuse those a few times before I throw those away so I've got that right up there whoops up there and then down here I've got some more fun Daiso things <laughs> my desk is a lot of Daiso um, this is just a little like candy jar so I've got my cotton balls in there this thing I just found today and it's super fun um, I use these little cotton pads to take off 
the polish on my stamping plates or off of my gel once I've stamped if I mess up. So this is a really cool little thing that just kind of holds it and it dispenses off the bottom. And then you just fill it in through the top like that. This is like a pen organizer so I've got some like swatches to play on, some I need to put away, all of my blanks. And then these are all just swatches that I've played with and decorated. And then I've got my soaking bowls down here. I've got a smaller one that nests inside so I'll rip up a few cotton balls, put it in there like that. Acetone goes in here, water goes in here. Water that's been heated up. And then I cover it with a towel. And I soak that off using my double boiler method which I've got a video on my channel about. You can check that out if you're looking for a different way. If you're looking for a different way to remove your dip powder manicures, this is my cute little trash can. It's my little desktop trash can. And then I'll move over to this shelf. And this is the shelf that I got off of the Facebook market. And it's a Recollections brand shelf, which it isn't actually sold anymore. So I'm really sad that some of y'all can't grab this. But I found it off the Facebook market, so maybe y'all will be able to score something really cool. Um, down here I've got some Bundle Monster Company gel polishes that I got from like a mystery bundle and then all of my Sparkle & Co gel colors. I've got a little washi tape holder. I usually use that to put masking tape on my on my desktop, on my table down here, like with washi tape, just so that I can stamp right onto that and it's a flat surface. And this is just a little ramekin dish that I use for usually alcohol if I need to dip into something. And this is my nail prop shop. Whoa, this is my nail prop shop. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the medium one. I accidentally dropped some acetone on it, so it doesn't usually look like that. But it's made to hold little jars, so that way you can dip into it more accurately. And another fun thing that I like to do with this one, um, I'll usually flip it over like this, and then I'm able to kind of rest my hand like that and paint on it too. So that's a really cool thing you can do with that also. And then I've got my brush rest. I love the shape of this, it's so geometric. And it makes a really fun nail prop too if you're looking for something crazy to just grab and you need it for a good photo. That's really cool too. So what this does is when you've got a couple tools that you need to grab real quick, you can just lay them on here like that and then they're just right. I mean it makes it a lot easier to pick up because they're at this angle than if it would be to be like that. Sometimes you can't really grab it that well and also doing that puts your nail on the surface instead of just being able to pick it up like this without touching your nails on something. So those are one of my favorite things. Um, I've got some stamping polish I need to put away up here. Some bigger two ounce jars of Revel, my McCart Blooming Nail Gel Polish. That stuff is so fun. If you've watched my video that I did on that a couple weeks ago, you've got to get some of that if you want to have some really cool marble nails and check out my video too and let me know what color was your favorite. Um, I've got this little thing. It's just one of those nail prop for fake ones when you're making a video it's a lot easier to hold so you can kind of just maneuver that around and play with it. I was super excited to find that at a nail store. And then here's all the current liquids that I'm using. The other ones were my spares. So I've got some Revel liquids, my Orly Gel Builder, Sparkle & Co Base, um, my Gelish, I use that for prep, Top Coat, Matte, Noil, bleh, Nail Foil Glue Gel, Sparkle & Co Peel Base, my Born Pretty No Smudge Top Coat, and then just some um, cuticle oil. On this next shelf, I've got cuticle candy skin cream. I've got alcohol in this little spritzer bottle. This is the nail polish remover I use for my toes. And then this one I've got alcohol in. And then this one I've got acetone in. I've got the one of the Revel collections that they did um, a summer ago or so, and then the Girl Boss one. And then I've got all of my other little jars up here. So these are the half ounce size, this is the one ounce size, and then this is the two ounce size. And then again, just my little posters. Oh, my bing bong. Slipping. There we go. Incubus, that's one of my favorites. Everclear, I love them. Young the Giant. 
And I'll step back real quick and just give you one more last shot. I hope you guys found some good ideas in this nail art station tour. And I'll have all of the stuff that I really like and similar products since a lot of you don't have a Daiso near you in case you want to grab something that you see here. Just check out the link below and you'll find the Amazon list that I've got all this good stuff on. Let me know what your favorite part was and the most creative thing that you've done in your nail art station. I'd love to see because I love new ideas and I'm pretty constantly changing how I've got this set up. I hope you guys will like and subscribe to my video and stick around my channel. Do all kinds of crazy goofy stuff and it's super fun to hang out with y'all. Talk to you guys later. So I wanted to detail a little bit more about the favorite things that I have in this giveaway. Um, so let me show you guys what I found. Again, these are just my favorite things that are inexpensive. And I want to have you guys try them too because not everybody has access to the store where I got this from. Um, called Daiso and some Dollar Tree finds also. And I wanted to just give you guys a chance to, to try these fun things that are really not that expensive so here's the little cotton pad thing that I've got on my desk over here and I'm also going to send some of the good cotton puffs that I like that go with these these ones don't leave a lot of mess on your nails or lint they're not technically lint free ones but they're pretty close um, so this will fill up this little thing a couple times so that's one of the items in there got this little timer it's so cute it's this tiny little bear so you can set this oh it's got the little um, tabby thing in there still too but you can um, set this and it's got magnets on here so that's really cool especially if you're first starting out and you don't want to mess up your liquids that's a really great thing to have and then I've got two sizes of the Dollar Tree little containers I showed you guys that I keep my samples in these are the smaller ones that the one ounce not one ounce, that um, one teaspoon size samples can go in if you're trading with your friends or um, buying them off of the buy sell trade groups. And then this is another one, the larger size that you can use for two teaspoons or more. And I've also, I'll have a video coming out that shows you how I do my samples when I'm sending them. So this is in that video too. So I've got some of those for you guys, the winner. Um, I've got this cute little mermaid spoon. I told you guys that I use this for samples or when I'm scooping powders on instead of dipping. Um, this one's really cute and it's easy to hold on to also because it's kind of got this little bend in it and so you can hold on to it really well and scoop and dip. Scoop and pour, I mean. So that's going to be in the giveaway. A few other things, this little double-ended dotting tool, it's got a large side over here and a smaller side over there. And then this really tiny one, this one's good because it's so, so small. And I actually haven't found these for so long that I got a couple for myself whenever I found them at the store. But this one's good for going around your cuticle if you get just like a big glitter chunk stuck there or if you want them to be really smooth. Um, so that's really tiny and perfect for that. And then I've got my favorite eyeshadow brush from the Dollar Tree. This is the Wet n Wild brand and this one's my favorite because it's really great at picking up um, powder, especially glitters because it's really fluffy and it can really just stick into there and when you're doing your powders it's easy to tap off with like this. So that's one of my favorite things. Another thing is this Queen Stamper. This is one of my favorite ones now. I just recently got one of these because everybody was talking about how they were on sale so I went and grabbed some for my giveaways and it's super sticky it's really great you can kind of tell right there so that's going to be in my giveaway you'll get a brand new one of these little queen and it comes with their little scraper card too and then they also had their little stamping plate so this one's got some really fun marble abstract designs on there. So that'll be in the giveaway and it's got some instructions how to do that. I've also got a couple of videos um, doing two different ways that I stamp when I've got dip powder nails or stamping with a gel polish top coat. So those are on my channel waiting for you guys to check out. So I hope you'll love those too. I hope you'll like all my videos.
it's really fun making these for you guys and then the last item in my giveaway is going to be one of these little makeup brush holder they're called and this is from five below um, and it's again just to stuff a few things into rather you can put a lot in there also it's really handy and fun to do swatch sticks with too I've seen a couple of the ladies do their swatches in this and they actually fit perfectly right into here so that way if you're doing like nail polish when I did all of my stamping polishes I had it in here I was just lining them up into these smaller ones so that they would dry and I wouldn't have to keep moving them or touching them and I could do I mean a ton of them at once so this is going to be my giveaway so again just like subscribe and share my pages please i'd love to have more followers and do all kinds of fun nail stuff with you guys and keep doing all this fun nail stuff because that's why we're all here isn't it all right good luck to the winner it's open to the u.s only please i'm sorry guys and I'll post some more information on the screen at the end with the picture about when the giveaway will be closed and the winner will be announced. So good luck to everybody. I hope you enjoy some of my favorite inexpensive items as well. And I can't wait to see what you guys think of these. Talk to you later.